Let me start by asking you, Tammy, to give us sort of a state of the union, a general state of affairs of where we are right now when it comes to math education post-COVID. Oof. Um, I'm going to be very blunt. We're in the toilet. Wow. Okay. So we're, uh, we're no need for we're being not diplomatic doing here. Well. Yeah, let's tell, give, us the, give us the real stuff. It's bad news. Um, and we can't completely blame COVID learning loss for it either. Um, we've, we've been in the math education, uh, supplemental math education business since 2008. And we've seen all sorts of curriculum uh, coming in with all, our students from private schools and public schools. And um, a lot of it, even pre-COVID, was very confusing, leaving kids with different sorts of issues in math, whether it's a um, over-dependence on standard algorithms where they're not able to do mental math very well, um, or they're in a reform math type program where there's uh, very little practice um, with computation with large numbers, um, and they, they might have a couple mental math skills, um, but they're, they have a very hard time doing any kind of um, addition or subtraction using standard algorithms. So we had this kind of issue going into COVID, COVID magnified it. Um, and uh, I put a lot of blame on very confusing curriculum that teachers have to work with. It's being chosen for them. It doesn't, doesn't work too well. 